Okay, so here's a, <clears throat> a dual setup that I've done in under an hour just using equipment that uh, we have uh, standard with Nomad, so the Nomad brackets uh, for the L-Series, the 105, 135, that's a 105 there. That's a V5, 100 amp hour. What I've got is I've got that uh, running off a of SIGA DC and that's plugging into my SIGA socket here um, and that's going to be fired up now because this actually is on when the, um, the car is off <clears throat> and that's charging the V5 at the moment and that V5 is now charging the L-Series. So I've got a 5 amp SIGA DC here that's 14.6 volt which is what the uh, NMC or sorry the uh, Life PO4 does. It takes 14.6 volt. Um, whereas this one over here is taking 12.6 from the car. So basically I'm looping that in. So I've got 100 amp hour here, 105 amp hour here. <clears throat> so in total I've got 205 amp hour that I can use. I can use any of the outputs from either of those units. And simply it's the car's feeding the Nomad V5 and the V5 is feeding one of the L series there. So basically you've got a full dual setup. This took me less than an hour. Um, I'm using the SIGA socket obviously in the car. Um, but you could use and probably see it in a, in a video coming up soon. <clears throat> we'll use like a uh, 20 or 40 amp Matson, which has a solar input. So I can connect the solar to the, the V5 over here, unregulated if I want to, or I can connect a regulated solar into the uh, L-Series. Um, but that just gives you an idea as to how versatile these units are. And now I've got the uh, 40 litre fridge that's just uh, running off the, the L-Series over here. Um, and that's on the app on my phone. You can see it's currently running at 87% there. It's pulsating because it's charging, and it's charging from the V5 over there. I don't have the V5 plugged into the, the vehicle at the moment, but that V5 is going to just keep topping up this L-Series. When I get to camp, I'll chuck a solar panel onto the V5, most likely 200 watt panel, um, or plug, plug the SIGA socket into the vehicle. This uh, Mercedes has a 20 amp socket, so I'm running a 10 amp from the car, um, but I only had a 5 amp SIGA DC 14.6 uh, volt available just at the moment, so that's what I'm running here. But I could quite happily run a 20 amp from the V5 to the L-Series or the 10, it doesn't matter, um, and that voltage is 14.6, so that just shows you a, a dual setup, total amount of 205 amp hour uh, installed in under an hour, cheers.